the advantage of using the cloud autonomous database, particularly for learning, is that um, you'll get a data set as well. Um, data set in the sense when you want to run the SQL statement, you need to have uh, the tables um, needs to be populated, uh, meaning there should be data inside the table to run any of the uh, SQL queries and SQL particularly if it's a kind of a subquery and if there is a join condition then it involves multiple tables. So creating all the tables and then um, populating all the tables is a task by itself. It may take um, a few hours of time post creation of the uh, database or even if you have a database then uh, creating all the tables and uh, populating uh, with the information it's uh, it is going to take time. And that's where the uh, Oracle Cloud uh, becomes much more handy, particularly with uh, Oracle Apex. You have it provides you the data set as well, so that you can run queries on that uh, database, so that you can learn the uh, necessary SQL statement, particularly the select statement. So to do that, yeah, we will get into the Oracle Apex, that is a post creation of your database once it is provisioned, up and running. Then uh, yeah, get to tools. Um, this is the database, and then get to tools open Apex and uh, whatever the admin password you have initially um, while creating um, the database so that admin password needs to be entered and then you need to create the um, the necessary space as well so uh, whatever I'm entering my password so remember the password which is used while creating the uh, database uh, that is the autonomous database that database um, I mean the password needs to be provided so uh, it says uh, welcome to see this is where you need to first create the workspace there is a difference here I mean if you you can use Oracle I mean apex.oracle.com which is again a cloud version uh, in that case, you need to request for the uh, space with the uh, Oracle team. Here in the cloud environment, you need to create a workspace. So click on um, create. So username, password, you have to provide. I'm just saying uh, DB user um, password, whatever the password you want to provide, you can provide. So I'm providing uh, the password. Let it be a DB user itself. So now um, create. So DB user is created. So um, we'll you can go out and then uh, log in into it as well using the DB user. So we'll do that. So let me sign out. So I have uh, signed out and returned to sign in page. So it now asks you for um, whatever you have created the workspace. So same thing needs to be provided DB user user. So let's uh, sign in now. So we are here. I mean, as a DB user, I am logged in. So this is a kind of a look and feel with Oracle Apex uh, and again uh, the advantage over here is uh, um, you will have uh, different uh, uh, I mean you can have the object browser you can run the uh, SQL commands so all that is there so, um, so this is again uh, you need to be aware of the uh, navigations of uh, SQL. I mean, in the navigations of the Oracle Apex. One thing I wanted to show you is that uh, the sample database. So, kit uh, data set. So, here, I mean, um, HR data set, you have uh, employee department HR data set. So, we will uh, install this so that uh, it is much easier, much effective. Uh, to learn SQL 
by having this data set installed. So let's do an install. Next. So these are the tables, many, many tables, which is going to get installed into the database. Install data set. So it's all done, all the tables. Just think about, uh, I mean, creating all the tables and populating with the data, that itself uh, is a big task. So initially while learning, if you have the data in the tables, it is much more uh, easier to learn all the select statements and all. So that's where it becomes very much handy. So exit. So then you can go into the um, object browser. And then uh, you see all the tables uh, over here. I mean, whatever uh, for the DB user, uh, you have all the um, tables and um, get to the data. You can also find all the relevant data as well over here. So that way it becomes uh, very handy. I mean, um, to have your uh, tables created, uh, I mean, um, in the further uh, uh, SQL as well will be using this, I mean this uh, data to create all the SQL statements. So thank you, stay tuned.